My story begins on December 14, 2009, when our then 22-year-old son entered residential treatment for addiction to alcohol and other drugs. I won't go into the details of watching your child suffer the horrors of living with untreated addiction. I'm here simply to tell you how we fought for his life when he was sick. Little did we know that day that we would also have to battle with our insurance company for payments under our policy. Health Partners approved the first 30 days of his stay on January 15th. They denied the second 30 days of treatment because they said it was not medically necessary for him to receive treatment at an inpatient facility. On the advice of his counselors, we paid an additional $12,000 to continue his treatment for another 30 days. February 23rd, we wrote a letter of appeal. March 19th, it was denied. July 14th, we submitted a second appeal. It was denied that same day. We went before the Health Partners Board of Appeals on August 3rd, and our claim was approved on August 5th. The process took seven months, seven months. And it was not seven months of waiting, rather it was seven months of writing emails and appeal letters, making phone calls, asking for information about the medical necessity criteria and being told that there wasn't anything available, doing our own research, talking with experts, requesting medical files and dissecting pages and upon pages of manuals written for medical uh, professionals, preparing the actual presentation for the Health Partners Board, navigating the whole appeals process without any assistance, and then some. It was physically and emotionally exhausting. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words. I hope that the picture that you'll remember from my presentation tonight is this binder. This is the binder that contains the information that I gathered for our appeal process. It doesn't include the 160 email exchanges that were part of this process. Okay? This process was incredibly time consuming. Without my training as a CPA and 35 years of experience interpreting tax laws, documenting client files, and representing clients before the IRS, I'm not sure I would have had the tenacity or the skills to pursue this appeals process. If I had been unable to challenge the assumptions of the experts, my son wouldn't have received the medical benefits that he was entitled to under the law. I am firmly convinced that our insurance company expected us to give up the fight because the process was just too hard, too time consuming, and too confusing, especially during a time of extreme emotional distress when we were dealing with our son's life-threatening illness. It makes you wonder what happens to families who don't have the time or the skills or the resources to endure such a process. Collecting insurance benefits under a policy shouldn't be this hard, and it shouldn't be harder for those suffering from addiction and mental health issues than it is for other policyholders with medical health issues. I have submitted a longer version of my testimony in writing to the members of Congress presented today, present today and it details the overwhelming process we had to go through to defend our son's rights to additional treatment based on medical necessity. I hope you will take the time to become familiar with the particulars of our story because I think they highlight common barriers to treatment that exist and will continue to exist until we see full enforcement and implementation of the parity law. I would like to end my testimony with some good news about the benefits of treatment for the disease of addiction. Our son is doing great. He's been sober almost two and a half years. He's pursuing a medical engineering degree. He's got a great network of friends in recovery, and he has restored relationships with his family. We are so incredibly grateful for each and every day of his sobriety. We are grateful that we had the financial resources, including insurance benefits, to get him the help that he so desperately Very needed. Extra. It's important that other families have access to benefits under their policies and do not have to fight so hard for life-saving treatment. Thank you.